weeks ago I got a message on Snapchat and someone from across the world sent me a message saying, Father Rob, would you be able to hear my confession over Snapchat? And that got me thinking, can we receive the sacraments through the internet? We need to first answer this question by understanding what a sacrament is. There are seven sacraments and these are seven ways in which God becomes an incarnate reality in our lives. In other words, seven ways in which God becomes real, physically present at different points in our lives. Let us take baptism, for example. When the priest pours the water over our heads or immerses us into the water and baptizes us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit comes into our bodies and into our souls and dwells there. He becomes real, the real presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives. In the Eucharist, the body and blood of Christ become physically present. We use the word transubstantiation. God in substance comes and we can physically touch the body and the blood of Christ and be changed and be nourished by that. That which is invisible, intangible and untouchable through the sacraments becomes visible, tangible and touchable. How amazing, how incredible it is that through the sacraments we get to see God face to face. I suppose it's like being in a, a serious relationship. There are moments where you can Snapchat, where you can text, where you can inbox one another, where you can call or even FaceTime. But then there are those moments where you need to meet face to face, where you need to hold hands, where you need to embrace and just be with one another. It's the same when it comes to our relationship with God. We can learn about God, we can get to know God and be inspired to love God more through the internet, through Snapchat, through Instagram. But there are those moments also with God that we need to be face to face. The sacraments are such moments. Sure, there might be some people that say, man, I, I want to be baptized, but I don't want to be in front of a crowd. I want to be baptized maybe over the internet with the priest just saying a few words or even receiving the anointing of the sick. But all these sacraments require touch, they require water, they require oil, they require the community to witness the, the commitment and our relationship with God. It's the same with reconciliation. Reconciliation is the sacrament of the Father's embrace. It requires proximity with the priest through whom God administers forgiveness and absolution. And it requires also us physically going forward with a sorrowful and a contrite heart. These are face-to-face -face moments that cannot be given to us over Snapchat and over Facebook, even though they sometimes would be more practical for us to do so that way. Ultimately, it comes down to the reality, to the fact that God is not satisfied with an illusion of intimacy, but wants to hold us, wants to touch us, wants to draw us closer to his heart in those face-to-face -face moments. That's what the sacraments are, moments of encounter, personal encounter with Jesus Christ. So to answer the initial question, no, there are no sacraments over the internet. God calls us to a deep relationship with him, to an intimate embrace with him. And that requires face-to-face -face moments. And the sacraments in particular are those moments.